Welcome back to another video. This is your buddy Crypto Profit. And before we get started, I want to make sure everyone knows I am not a financial advisor. I'm not giving financial advice and I'm just giving you crypto information and explaining my stance on the coin. So today we're going to be looking at Polkadot. And I just wanted to go over what Polkadot is before we look at the price chart and see if there's any price predictions we can come up with. So, uh, right here you can see, I mean, you just go to their website, you can see pretty much what they do, and um, you can read all about it. You can read all about the Polkadot network um, and see what it does. But basically, it's governance, staking, and bonding is um, three different possibilities with Polkadot. Uh, it's definitely been growing a, a very good amount. Um, you can go down on their website and you can see actually from the blog and you can click some of these blog posts and see what's really going on with uh, Polkadot and you can always join the community as well and see what's going on. But we're just going to go actually back to the price chart here um, as there's going to be a lot of little bit of research that you can do here. I don't want to go over all of it. You'll be, you'll be bored and um, well, maybe you won't, but you know, It'll take quite some time, basically, to go through most of what Polkadot has to offer. Um, but yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot here, um, and that makes a lot of sense. And I want you to understand that Polkadot is definitely going to be a, a big time player in the near future. Um, I mean, they already are, um, but there, I can definitely see a trend up with Polkadot. Pretty much every cryptocurrency, as you can see, I, if I go to the prices here, let's check this out. Pretty much every cryptocurrency is trending down at the moment. Um, there's a few that aren't, and you can see that here. These are the gainers um, on the Coinbase website if we just take a look at there. Um, and then you can see the losers, and they're pretty much all trending down. So there's no there's no great uh, information there for us, but if we look at the Polkadot price, you can see in the one hour, it is taking a small trend back up. Um, it was doing a, actually a great job at 33.24 earlier, um, you know, what, thir 13, 14 minutes ago. Um, and then it did do a big dip again for this one hour period. Uh, the 24 hour, like we said, we know that it was going trending down, um, which is fine. It'll trend back up, I'm sure. Uh, so we get the week period and it is going to... I mean, you're seeing that it went all the way up to, you know, 38.17. I don't need 38.50. So this will definitely get back to that 38.50. Um, if if you want to stay in for the long haul, I could see this one, Polkadot easily going to maybe 100 to $150 uh, by the end of the year for sure. So just, I mean, I would stay in the long haul. That's going to be my personal advice for myself. Um Remember, I don't give any financial advice, but it uh, it does seem like this one does have the potential to go all the way. So, a thousand one hundred twenty six percent since the October what twenty or October nineteenth. So, I mean, this definitely is trending up, just like every other coin. Um, the one month span, it did have a high uh, at what forty. We can't even get to it real quick. Forty two dollars and six cents. And now we're trending at that 33. And I can definitely see it at least getting back to that high in the next couple months. So you can guarantee, you know, nine bucks back there. Uh, really, we're going to see a market cap at 30.3 billion, uh, 2.9 billion volume. And their circulating supply was 915.2 mil. So it's a great time to get in, in my opinion. Um, with everything trending down, that is the one thing. Uh, I know a lot of you guys already put all your money in on some of these assets, so now you can't jump in on the dip. So that's the only thing I would suggest. Uh, I heard a couple people talking about how they, you know, they put everything in; they don't have anything more to put in. Well, usually you want to wait for a dip, um, or just gradually put money in. So when you see a big dip, you can take advantage. Uh, I know a lot of traders will try to tell you, you know, you don't want to try to buy at the dip; just buy, you know, regularly over the couple week span, and that is a smart way to go. But if you see a dip and you have any extra money, that's, I mean, it's pretty safe in crypto right now, for, in my opinion. Uh, if you go for something like Chainlink or Polkadot or, um, you know, some of these main coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, they're, they're going, they're trending up. They shouldn't, there should be about almost no risk. Um, so I would take advantage of that. 
And uh, so polka dot price prediction for the end of the next three months, I could definitely see it hitting $100. I don't know if Cardano or polka dot will actually hit it first, but one of them will be hitting $100 first, and then the other one will follow shortly after, in my opinion. Um, but thanks for tuning in, guys, today. This is the polka dot prediction price, and I will see you guys in the next one.